Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we're taking a look at all 20 new pets in patch 815 and how to get them. The new patch releases this upcoming Tuesday on March 12th. Biggest among the new pet sources in 815 is our brand new Raiding with Leashes achievement. New battle pets have been added to the loot tables of bosses in Pandaria's Mogashan Vaults, Heart of Fear, and Terrace of Endless Spring. In Mogashan Vaults, the Stone Guard will have a chance to drop Stone Claw, a beast-type Quillen pet. From Garajal the Spirit Binder, you could get the Wayward Spirit Spectral Tiki Mask. Elagon has a chance to drop Comet, a magic-type Astral Quillen pet. And from the last fight, you can get Baoji, the Mogu statue. Moving on to the Heart of Fear, you'll find the Corthic Swarmling drop from Zorlock, Laylord Tyak can drop the Amberglow Stinger Firefly pet, and the Spawn of Garillon unsurprisingly drops from Garillon. Amber Shaper and Sock can drop the Living Amber, and from Grand Empress Chexir, you can find the Ravenous Prideling. The last two pets that you'll need for the achievement are in the Terrace of Endless Spring. Toulon can drop the Azur Windseeker, and the Spirit of Spring comes from Leishi. Collecting all of the rating with Leishi's six pets will give you Happiness, the cutest Shaw baby that you ever saw. Historically speaking, Raiding with Leash's pets have tended to have a 10-30%-ish drop rate, so these shouldn't be too hard to farm. They're also all cageable, so you can sell your extras and then buy that one that just won't drop. If you're farming for gold or just trying to get all of them on your own, taking your alts through will help speed things up. The next source of battle pets in 815 won't be up right away on the 12th, and that's because it's Children's Week. The next Children's Week starts on May 2nd, and it'll include new quest lines to escort around a Colteran or Zandalari orphan. Doing so will let you choose one pet from Beakbert, Froglet, Mr. Krabs, and Scaly. If you want everything in one year on your own, you'll need at least four characters at most likely level 110 or higher. As always, you can cage, buy, and sell extras, so if you don't have alts, you can make up for it with gold. Another holiday-ish pet source is the Dark Moon Fair, and it's getting three new pets to collect in 815. The Wolf, Murloc, and Horse Balloons will be available to purchase from a vendor for 90 Dark Moon tickets each. These are non-combat pets, so if you're less of a collector and more of a battler, you can safely skip these ones. And last, new pet number 20 is Feathers. You get Feathers at the end of a new story-focused questline in 815. Horde characters can begin that by seeing Gallywix, an alliance pick theirs up from Kelsey Steelspark. After the patch, you can find both NPCs below decks on the boat where your mission table is. And those are the new pets! An early congratulations to anyone that needs these for a pet collecting meta achievement. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!